How's it going? Hello, 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 hello. Oh, here we go. Lights are turning on. Things are looking good. Okay. So, video. Are you afraid of doing a Facebook Live? Are you afraid of doing a video and putting yourself out in front of people? I want to share with you why you don't need to be afraid and some tips to help you get started on your journey to creating videos that get you leads and can lead into more sales, right? So my name is Brooke Oaks. If you are new, please go ahead and say hi. Let me know where you're tuning in from. It's Friday. Tell me something good about your Friday, what you're doing this weekend. Um, if you've joined me before, let's hear some shout outs of some things that you've accomplished this week, right? I want to do some new things on my videos, um, give you guys some uh, inspiration, motivation, and let you uh, shout out about yourself and we can all cheer you on, right? So video, um, what is it that makes some people so afraid to do their video? You know, I know there are people that are afraid of pictures, there are people that are afraid of just taking a selfie of themselves. You know, video is not that scary and I'm gonna tell you why. Reason one being that it really helps you develop a relationship with your clients, your customers, your followers, whoever it is you're talking to. Video is a great way for them to get to know you. I'm a blogger, I love blogging, I love sharing stories, but video is the thing that allows people to see your personality, see yourself. Hey, Angela, thank you, thank you, thank you for watching. Um, also, if you get some value, please feel free to share this. I know there's a lot of people that need to hear this message, right? So, video, people see who you are, they see your energy, they see your excitement. When you're excited about something, people feel that and people want to be around other people who are excited, right? If you are starting something new, if you're going somewhere, you're gonna look for the people who are excited. You know, if there's a product that you like or that you want or that you've seen, are you going to go with that person who just stands there with the bottle and stares at you? Or do you want to talk with that person who's excited about it, has stories to share, things to tell you? You may not buy it, but you get some really good stories from them, some really good value. You can learn some things about the person, some things about yourself. You know, a big thing with network marketing is that we're always exchanging value. So you may be sharing information, you may be sharing tips, you may be sharing ideas. So use your video, let them see who you are, let them feel your energy and your excitement because people are going to be drawn to that. It's like a beacon. You wanna be able to hold that beacon high and say, hey, I'm over here. This is what I wanna share with you, right? So reason number two not to be afraid of video is that you can develop a better connection, right? You can interact with the people if it's live. This is why Facebook Live is your friend. You can interact with the people. You know, maybe you're someone who likes to put your videos on YouTube so you don't interact a ton, but there's still ways that you can interact with them, like the little wave thing that pops on there once in a while. Hey, Cheryl, how's it going? Um, so live video, let people interact with you. Let them ask you questions or you ask them questions and they can answer. It's a great way to get people to interact. Plus, did you know this? Facebook Live, when you do a live, it goes to the top of the feed. Facebook loves when you do a Facebook Live. They want people interacting. They want people engaging. It's all about being social. That's why it's called social media, right? Super, super exciting things. So what can you do to make it where you're more confident, more comfortable in the videos that you're doing? Now you don't have to do a live. If you are getting into this and you just wanna to start to get to know it, you don't have to do a Facebook Live as your first video. Do a recorded one. See what you sound like, see what you want to look like. Um, Maybe you've got a uh, favorite shirt that you want to wear and that makes you more confident and comfortable in what you're doing. Maybe you have some favorite makeup. You know, wear something that makes it 
so you feel confident and comfortable in what you're doing in your own skin and people will feel that and that will help you get your energy launching so your beacon is shining high in the sky for those people who are looking for you. Hey Angelo, how's it going? So make sure you're comfortable. You don't want to do a video in a space where you feel like the world is caving in on you. Be comfort comfortable, be confident. I know some people maybe enjoy a little bit of wine before they get on so they feel a little bit better. That's your own choice. Um, but wear something that makes you feel good. And if you're doing those recorded videos, you can see your mannerisms, you can see things that you may want to change. You can share your videos with friends first and say, hey, can you take a look at this? Um, are there things that you see that, you know, um, I could fix or I don't feel confident about this? How can I change it? So recorded video will help you get comfortable with doing a live video. But I'm telling you, live video is where you want to go. You're going to get out there. You're going to work that engagement with Facebook. You're going to be able to shine your beacon high, interact with your people, and get people engaging. I feel like that is the biggest thing. A lot of people, if you're struggling in your business, in network marketing, it may be because you're not talking with enough people, you're not engaging enough, and live video is a great way to do that. Because here's a fact, you can post your video. If it's a video you don't like, you can delete it, redo it, no big deal. Or if it's a video you love, you leave it up, you let it go, you share it with friends, you share it with whoever, and that video gets more views even after the live is over and it continues to just snowball for you so you can get your message out. So even though it's not a continuous, it's not live anymore, it's still going to get people looking and interacting and get people knowing who you are because that's the big thing. You want people to see your face, you want people to get to know you, and you want those people who understand you and connect with you feel your energy, enjoy your energy. You want those people to find you. So I hope these tips help. Um, I did provide you a free resource, so feel free to grab that if you would like. And please, 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 if you got value from this, share this with someone. I know there's a lot of people who are afraid of Facebook Live, afraid of video, and really it's going to be their best friend. It's going to help them. So. Thank you all for tuning in and I will see you next time. Have a great night.